Hey guys, and welcome to another replay. This is Resident Evil Dead Aim, and my god, we played this about five or six years ago. My god, yeah, I can't believe it was that long ago. Um, we actually played it emulated, I believe, and I was going through my uh, local game shop, uh, and I noticed it. And it was really freaking cheap. So I was like, fuck yeah, let's have another spin on Resident Evil Dead Aim. I remember there was a couple of like little emulator glitches and stuff. Uh, but apart from that, I don't really remember too much about this game. Um, I remember thinking that it actually wasn't as bad as most of the uh, light gun Resident Evil games were. I mean, there was some, you know, actual fucking gameplay to it, which was nice. So, let's see how this holds up. Um, I'm quite looking forward to this. The controls are funky, but this time we are actually going to be playing it on a PlayStation 2 with the HDMI cable, so hopefully things are going to look a little bit spiffy. Probably not as good as an emulator, but there we go. We're going to go new game. We played it on normal last time, and I don't even remember it being a very hard game. Um, so this time, let's try easy, shall we? <laughs> oh, Titan, yes. No, we're going to go hard, just because. Why not? A slight forward about the difficulty in this game. We start off on hard for the first two parts, but then I have to dial the difficulty down um, shortly after, because it's just insane. However... It did turn out that I was being a little bit of a specialist and um, there was one feature I didn't know about the game that might actually make hard playthrough significantly easier. So we might try it again at a later date. So first two videos, hard difficulty, and then we swap it over to normal difficulty. Yes. Ah, the gap between normal difficulty and hard is huge. Massive. Normal very easy ridiculously easy hard well you know hard establishing a uh, kingdom where beauty has absolute authority is the dream which i must make a reality morpheus morpheus fuck hell okay matrix shit going on here midwestern town in the united states i'm gonna states rip into a monster substance known as the T-Virus leaked throughout the town. However, Umbrella, the corporation developing the virus, refused to abort the project. And once again, the threat of biological terror was thrust upon the world. A large amount of T-Virus was stolen three days ago. A terrorist group hit an Umbrella lab in France. Yesterday, one of Umbrella's cruisers was hijacked and contaminated with the same virus. That's all the playtime we have for today. You die. Now.
Mm-hmm. So, Morpheus, you say? He seems to be uh, more interested in the fact that we're packing an ugly weapon. Um, I don't think a semi-auto weapon. Oh, shit. <clears throat> is as ugly as he's making out. Right, so I need to get con like used to the controls again because the controls in this game are really funky. And also there's a strange lady throwing grenades at both of us, which is pretty bloody rude, to be honest. But hey, she kind of saved our ass. And we have bullet holes in the environment. Very nice. So this game, uh, obviously running on the PlayStation 2, uh, it only came out on the PlayStation 2, I believe. And, you know, visually, yeah, it's basic, but it... You know, it actually doesn't look too bad. So, when we're exploring, we run around in third person, very similar to Resident Evil 4 in a way. In fact, character model here does kind of remind me a little bit of Leon, almost like a, a, a beta build or something. But when we go into combat, we actually go into like a light gun first person mode, which, let me tell you, takes some getting used to because... We, we tap uh, R1 to go into combat, and then we can move left and right with the uh, left analog stick. And the right analog stick, all we can do with that uh, is go up and down. Actually, we can also aim with this analog stick, which I, uh, I, I, I didn't know that. And the other analog stick, uh, the left one, if we move that up and down, we get out of combat mode. So, uh, hard difficulty, from what I can understand, Enemies are tougher, obviously, and we have a lot less ammo. We know the fact that we are uh, on a cruise ship, which, you know, they've actually used a few times now in Resident Evil. We've uh, seen the Queen Zenobia from Resident Evil Revelations. Oof. This guy's been drinking a lot of wine. Damn. Oh, also, apparently we can target this guy. But I actually think he's dead. Uh, yeah, we've had the Queen Zenobia uh, from Resident Evil. And we've also had um, the Game Boy Advance game. Was it the Game Boy Color game? I can't remember what that was called. That was a weird one, wasn't it? Anyway, let's start exploring. There's a load of rooms which have a whole load of nothing in this game. Uh, we do have... Ah, oh, we don't have a map yet, but we actually have a fairly competent map in this game, which I really like. Now, so that's where we came in. I want to try and explore every door. Because there are ammo packs and whatnot to pick up, obviously. Unlike the other light gun Resident Evil games, we do actually have a limited amount of ammo. Which is, uh, on normal, wasn't too bad. Um, there was plenty to go around. On hard, I'm not sure. Right, we cannot open this door. That's fine. I can't remember how interactive like the environments are. If we can like search cupboards and shit like that. I can't remember. Um, so anyway, let's keep exploring. Looks like everybody's dead. Uh, we do have an inventory. Now, um, we can only hold six... Uh, slots worth of ammo, I believe. On easy, I think each... Like, with the handgun. On easy, each slot can hold 60 bullets. On our difficulty, each slot can hold 30. So, you're limited there a little bit. We've got the Intelligence Operations Manual. Good morning, Bruce. This time, your target is a former executive of Umbrella named Morpheus. This man has stolen the T-Virus and hijacked... Umbrella's cruiser. Your mission is to infiltrate the cruiser and report the status immediately to the base of strategic forces. This is uh, before the BSAA, I believe. Uh, we have prepared some equipment for you to review. Good luck. Items. Your standard equipment consists of a handgun and some recovery items for first aid. However, you will find other useful items during the mission. How can they be so sure? Uh, some of them are essential items that you will need to proceed, like keys for locked doors and special tools. God, it sounds like the guy writing this was a bit of a tool. Also, by using the sneak move, you'll be able to locate items more easily. The sneak move? Every time you receive damage, your status will vary as follow. Fine, caution, danger. View the status screen. Push the start button. Keep 
uh, your status at fine with the recovery items. Position. If you fight against two or more enemies at close range, you will almost certainly be damaged. Therefore, if you're surrounded by enemies, move quickly to keep enough distance between you and them. Uh, and then target them. In case you are cornered, use the escape button to evade. Escape button? You, uh, shooting. Your amount of ammo is limited. Therefore, do not shoot more than is necessary. Always aim for the enemy's fatal spot. Yeah, for zombies it's the head. Go figure. Uh, although the number of bullets you can carry is limited, you can resupply indefinitely. You can? Well, don't listen to me, guys. Jesus. Okay. Apparently ammo is unlimited then. And how do I move my cursor? No, I want to. Thank you. Options. Okay. So, controller settings. So, what's uh, status, move, run? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, open, closed door. What's that? L1 or L2 button. Open, close door, get item, escape, and confirm. That's all on the L1 and R1 button, really. So, sneak. Okay. So, sneak and parallel. Sure. So, let's have a little look. Right. So, that's sneak. And that's sneak parallel. Uh, okay, so sneak parallel means we can move in all directions, whereas the other sneak, we only sneak forwards and backwards. God, the controls in this game, man, they are something pretty weird. And it looks like we have a lot of dead guys here. There seems to be an overwhelming amount of dead. Oh, hey, love. How's uh, the hanging? Fortunately, we can't uh, check her out because we can't look up or down in this game. Anyway, I'm sure she's going to be fine. We're just going to keep exploring. Upper deck's map taken. Excellent. It's still holding something. Ah, a key. Lovely. And geez, I hope that wasn't just some random zombie corpse falling to the floor in the next room. Nah. Uh, right, so this is the map. And the map is very nice. The lounge. We need to start making our way to the lounge if memory serves. But to be fair, we're going to check every door we can. Because that's how we roll. You right in here, ma'am? Ma'am? Hello. Yeah, the zombies are pretty low poly. Uh, we're not going to worry about them too much. Right, let's back the fuck up. Let's get her coming towards us down here. Yes, you come towards me, my dear. There we go. Oh, it looks... Oh, God. It looks like... The zombies are a lot faster in this difficulty as well. Um, plenty of headshots are needed, but we're not going to bother about it. We're just wasting ammo at this point. Although we can reload indefinitely, apparently. We only have one magazine. Which is bad. In fact, we only have half a magazine left. Which is worse. But I don't think zombies can follow you from uh, building to building. Or room to room, I should say. Oh, hey, friend. This door appears to be closed. Well, that's not very cricket now, is it? Um, what's through here? That we need the key card for. Yes. That ain't no fun. All right, buddy. I don't want no business from you today. You used the first class key. Excellent. Let's have a little wander through here, shall we? Oh, we have a Z there. And we have a Z here, too. I think if they flash red, that means they're, like, they've noticed us. Can't open. We can open this one, though. Hmm. Creepy, strange music. Yeah, I can't remember what Resident Evil on the Game Boy was called. Um, that was weird. Set aboard a ship, and you played as Barry Burton. Uh, it was, you know, for a Game Boy game, I think they pretty much did what they could. Hmm. We could possibly 
Let's go back upstairs. I remember this game being slightly confusing on the map, but... So that's the VIP room we could try going into, but I'm pretty sure we can't. Right, so we've come from this way. Ah, right, so we, we're trying to make our way to the captain's room. Gotcha. I guess, I mean, the captain's room is that... Oh, hello. We have more zombies. And where is this? This is the VIP room. Documents lay scattered. Take the guest key card. I'm going to say no. Because I reckon... These zombies are going to get up. If we fiddle with anything. Documents lay scattered on the floor. Yeah, okay. So, emergency fax from Paris branch. A date, September 18th, 2002. To, uh, sales division A... Roberto, today, three T-virus samples have been stolen from this Paris lab. Our prime suspect is Morpheus D. Duvail, who belonged to the R&T division of HQ. His motivations appear to be based upon a retaliation against our company. Therefore, we are sending uh, out this general warning to all divisions. Anyone who obtains any information regarding this matter should contact Eek uh, HQ immediately regards Umbrella Corporation Paris. Now, if you remember um, Umbrella Corporation Paris, they actually um, were mentioned before in Code Veronica. Uh, um, I believe. They were also mentioned in Chris's diary uh, in a roundabout kind of way in Resident Evil 2 saying that Chris had, you know, pissed off to um, Europe to look for Umbrella. Oh no! Zombies waking up! Who would Oh shit, they're out here too. Get fucked. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Hey, Titan, why aren't you shooting these guys? Because we don't have any bullets, guys. We have very few bullets. We have seven bullets. <sighs> oh, bloody hell. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, good. Good. Wonderful. Perfect, even. Uh, right, let's try and get past these guys. Oh, God. Um, right, there we go. That's fine. Oh, nice. <laughs> they call him the hot stepper. Right, let's have a little look in here. We uh, we can't go through there. Guest room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if, like, Silent Hill... It would uh, illustrate rooms that we have been in. Or doors that we can go through, I should say. Okay, let's go. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Right. Oh, everybody's up and motivated now. Fuck me. So, let's... Yeah. Head to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Right, fuck off, love. i got to use the key. Get this shit going. I've been looking forward to playing this. I'm not sure how hard this game... Ooh. Every time the resolution changes... Five million dollars! Jesus, our guy looks like a bit of a retard. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you saved me earlier. Your Chinese security bureau, huh? Looks like we're in the same business. Creeper. Cooperation is too much to ask for on our first date. 
Might I suggest we simply stay out of each other's way? Oof. For real? That's my name. And I don't do the fresh name. If you really want to help, then go for it. Oh, God. Okay, so the um, subtitles are not even close to what's being said by the characters. And I think I just got diabetes from that cutscene. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Was it really this bad last time I played? I mean, Resident Evil is campy bullshit anyway. The best kind of campy bullshit. But, I mean, dude. There is a line. Okay, there, there is... You know, um, the possibility of being too campy that you just give everybody AIDS and, oh, I mean, ouch. That was pretty, pretty bloody rough. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, zombies. Wireless radio is broken beyond repair. Damn it. What a bitch. Oh, well. I guess we have no radio, but we do have more zombies. And zombies climb stairs. No, Bruce. Bruce. No, Br Bruce. Ah, ah. Hey, Bruce. Enough of that going downstairs bullshit. So, if you try and go downstairs, he kind of commits. You can't change your mind halfway through, which is something, I guess. So, we're Bruce. I mean, Bruce is a badass's name. And the way he was kind of like begging for his life there, uh, you know, doesn't really make me think of a Bruce. Um, this panel controls the electronic lock. There is a keycard slot here. You use the guest keycard. Right, I believe that, yeah, second floor VIP rooms are released. Nice. Alright, come on, Brucey boy. We need to find some damn ammo, man. I mean, like, there's not a lot of ammo so far. Uh, let's head upstairs. Now, I remember you get, like, ammo lockers. And they contain uh, X amount of supplies of ammo. Uh, wait, where are we on the map? Right, okay, ah, okay. So it does actually highlight uh, areas that have been unlocked. That's interesting. I want to run a bit of an experiment on this. Oh, I can hear zombies. Oh, I can hear you. There's an explosive. Uh, oh, God. Okay. That did not go down very well. Get out of here, buddy. He's trying to... Oh, fucking hell. Seems to be locked from the other side. Well, that's no good. It doesn't really help me right now. Uh, seems to be closed. Damn. Did we open any doors here? Where are we now? Right. Did we check 201? I don't know. Seems to be locked. Cool. 206. Ooh. Take the silencer handgun. Uh, yes? I mean, I guess if nothing else. Does that come loaded? Ah, oh, it does. Okay. Plants a handgun is good for avoiding detection when attacking. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Uh, what else have we got here? Anything? Nope. These beds look entirely too small for humans. I'm just saying, okay. They do look too small for humans. Hmm. Anything in the shitter? Why is there two sinks? Really? And two rolls of toilet paper. Something's very wrong on this ship. Oh, hey friend. Let's try the silencer handgun, shall we? Oof, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like it. Okay. I mean, the sound effect for it pretty weak, but it, oh god, hang on how do, how do, oh right, okay, so we can uh, right, we're out of bullets that's bad 
Um, so is the, the silencer handgun weaker? I mean, it doesn't mench. Really? So they can get up more than once. Good to know, I guess. Right, I think his brainstem came out of the back of his head, so that's good. Uh, cool. Let's keep exploring. Aha! Save room. At least I think these are save rooms. That is definitely save room music. I mean, it's kind of a bit bizarre, but... Right, so ammunition. Six packets. Which, you better believe we're going to hungry, hungry hippo this shit. Ah, uh, now we can fight a little bit. But what concerns me here, it says you can reload indefinitely, but we've taken all the ammo. There's no more in there. Um, and how do we reload our guns would also be another... Uh, right, like that, I guess. The weapon is... Okay. So how many rounds does that give us? 168 rounds? Okay, that's... I mean, that sounds like a lot. You know. But whether it actually is a lot. I also know this isn't a very short... Uh, isn't a very long game. So the ammo doesn't restock. What I'm going to do... Let's run an experiment here. Let's hit up a save. Damn, bro. And I'm going to run out and shoot loads of bullets. Just see if, as we free up slots, does the ammo come back? Oh, man. That, that gun is slow. That might be the drawback. Because if we go up to this bad boy... Oof. That's how we let off some brass. There we go. That's how it's done, boys. Right, so at least we found the drawback. For that gun. Now, if this ammo doesn't restock, then I'm not sure what the game means by you can reload indefinitely. Or restock indefinitely. Right, no bullet. We have no bullet. Well, let's see if we can go get more bullets. Just one, please. One for myself. No. What about if we... We've saved the game. Um, is there any way of exiting the game? I don't know. Unless on hard they don't restock. Which is fine. We just need to be a little bit wary of that. Um, so I guess the the amount of bullets that are actually in a room, I mean, that's it. So, which again is fine. It's Resident Evil. We're, we're used to this. As long as enemies don't constantly respawn, we're okay. But that's going to do it for the first part here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this adventure with me i'm bloody looking forward to it so till then guys